Oh my gosh. What? How? Oh. My goodness. Oh. Oh my gosh. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I am very excited about this one. I have got such a good recipe for you. I made it last night for dinner and I this morning I woke up and I was like, I have got to show you how to make it because it blew my mind. My kids went crazy for it and I'm, I'm craving it. So that's why we're in the kitchen and we're gonna make some vegan mozzarella. There are so many mozzarella recipes out there, obviously. Most, most of them use cashews, which is fantastic. Cashews are a fantastic base for a vegan mozzarella, but they're obviously higher in fat. They're not super low calorie density. Um, so they're not my favorite choice. You guys know I also have done mozzarella with uh, rice and potatoes, which again is brilliant. But this is just gonna give you another option. Um, and I'm also gonna be writing down the proper recipe for you, like I know I don't usually do. So anyway, the recipe will be down below, so go and check it out. Um, this one is gonna be using a very special ingredient. One of my favorite ingredients at the moment, silken tofu. I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. It is the perfect, like neutral taste, but super creamy um, base for a mozzarella. And it was just so, so easy to throw together. Like with the rice and the potatoes, you have to actually cook them first, right? Or you have to have them on hand. But with this, you just need the carton of silken tofu and boom, you've got mozzarella. So anyway, I'm super excited. There's not gonna be any coconut oil, no cashews, none of that stuff. It's low calorie density, relatively, and it's obviously high protein, which is fantastic if you're looking to build muscle, but also legumes like tofu are fantastic to get into your diet. Um, they're just really good for you on so many levels. They keep you full and satisfied and full of so much goodness. So anyway, I'm gonna stop chatting about tofu now and we're gonna we're gonna make this recipe before we get into the proper recipe i just wanted to let you know that the biggest vegan health bundle is actually now available and i'm super excited to be taking part it is run by chef aj and lisa from raw food romance who are just like two of my absolute vegan idols they are both incredible they do so much stuff but anyway they've put together this incredible incredible bundle with basically 150 different um creators and contributors have come together to to, um, like basically put together a package of what is essentially $8,000 worth of content and you can get it for $49, which is, I mean, I've bought bundles in the past and I've absolutely loved them. Um, and so I'm just super excited to be actually part of this one. I'll show you what's in my bundle. So for those of you who don't know, I recently wrote a book with my sister-in-law, that's me, um, called The Great North Indian Vegan Cookbook, which is oil-free, and geared towards maximum weight loss with like over 90 recipes full of authentic Indian goodness. So that is my contribution to the Vegan Health Bundle. There is so much good stuff from the bundle this year. There's expertise from like doctors, there's things about gut health. Uh, you can have like memberships to apps. There, there are so many amazing, incredible courses, which I'm going to be doing myself. Um, and obviously a ton, a ton of incredible recipe eBooks um, like like mine, um, which, uh, which I am very excited to dig into. I've already been making a ton of the recipes and they're just amazing. Let me know if you'd like me to do a full what I eat in a day based on the recipes from the bundle. But anyway, I'm just super excited about it. I'm so thrilled to be involved. If you wanna go and get loads of incredible content for a fraction of the cost, I think it ends up being like, 40 cents per item, which just blows my mind. Um, then I will leave the link for you down below. Go and check it out. I'm super excited. But yeah, let's get into some mozzarella now, which is why you're really here, right? Yeah, let's do it. Like I said, this is the easiest recipe known to mankind. You just chuck it into a semi-clean blender. So when you're choosing your tofu, make sure you're getting silken tofu in this kind of packet. You don't want like soft, um, or like semi-soft kind of firm-ish tofu, you want it to be the silken stuff. Otherwise, it's not gonna be quite as creamy or delicious in my eyes anyway. Okie dokie, so we're just gonna put the full thing in. Ah, there we go. For reference, I used to own a vegan cheese company here in the UK, so I am a professional vegan cheese maker, and I am very excited about this recipe because it's one of the best mozzarellas I've ever had. So anyway, that's, that's how good it is, people. Okay, we're just gonna need a few little bits. I'm wanting this to be a semi-garlicky one, so I've just got half a clove of garlic going in. We're gonna want some soy milk. Oh God, that's empty. Struggles of a short person. 
I did obviously not measure this when I made it yesterday, but I'm going to measure it for you guys because I love you that much. A third of a cup of soya milk. You can do any unsweetened plant milk that you want. I just love soya. It's my preference. I'm going to go in with some salt. I'm going to be using like a teaspoon. A little bit more. Cheese is meant to be salty, okay? So you want that saltiness to come out. Obviously, we're going to need some kind of acidity going on, so I'm going to use lemon juice. You could also use apple cider vinegar or something like that, or any kind of vinegars, really, not balsamic. And I like to just roll my lemon out like that, just to get all the juices flowing, you know? Okay, we're going to use the juice from the entire lemon, so just squeeze that in. Now this one is totally optional, but I'm gonna go in with a little bit of lactic acid, just because it really amplifies that cheesy flavor. Um, again, you don't have to do it. It'll still taste super cheesy without it, but I just think it's an extra special ingredient. And I'm gonna go in with like half a teaspoon. I'm trying to think back to how I made it yesterday and I nearly forgot about nutritional yeast, which is like vegan cheese crack. How could I forget about this? God, you need the nooch, like that is essential. Okay, okay, let's measure, let's measure. Okay, I think a third cup of nooch will do the trick. Okay, now the final ingredient, which is going to give us that stretchy mozzarella kind of texture that we're gonna want, is tapioca starch. This one is essential as well. Um, I just get mine on Amazon. I can't really find it in the shops, but yeah, that's what you want. Um, and I got this everywhere yesterday. I tried to put it in my cupboard and it exploded and I was covered in white stuff and there was just white everywhere and I haven't cleaned it up fully um, so everything's just a little bit white but that's all right. Before I add in the tapioca starch I'm just going to blend this up just to make it nice and smooth and creamy before we yeah before we put that um, the powdery stuff in you know. At this point taste it. You don't really want to taste it with the tapioca starch in until it's cooked because that will be gross um but yeah taste it make sure there's enough um sourness make sure there's enough salt this is perfect it's absolutely delicious mm -mm -mm. oh my god it tastes so cheesy i really do still get so excited about cheesy things i know that cheese is one of the last things that vegetarians or um you know people looking towards a vegan diet give up so finding cheese alternatives gets me so excited because that's what people seem to need i guess right I hope I don't get this everywhere again because that's a nightmare to clean. Oh God. Okay. Again, I didn't measure it, but we're gonna go in with about, I'm gonna say three tablespoons. Oh, I don't really know how much that is. I'm just gonna do a tiny bit extra. Okay, between three and four tablespoons. I think, I don't think it really matters that much. You just do you, the texture will be ever so slightly stretchier. If you add in a bit more, don't worry about it. Okay, we're gonna do a final blend. Okay, there we go. So nice and white and silky smooth. Yeah, it doesn't taste good with the tapioca starch. Don't do that. Um, but now it's just time to make it stretchy. And the way we do that is by heating it up. It's going to activate the tapioca starch. So I'm going to grab a little pan. Now I'm going to bring you over to the stove so we can heat it up together. I, think I might just pop you in this little pan. Okay, I feel like you guys are nice and secure in my pan, so that's good. Sorry about the state of my hob, I haven't cleaned it in a while. That's not gonna take away from the deliciousness of this cheesy goodness. Okay, so the texture is going to change drastically. As you can see, it's kind of more like a silken tofu mayo, which is what I make on a regular basis. So that's what the texture we've got at the moment, uh, but we're going to be transforming it into something absolutely magical. I'm gonna blast that heat because I'm not a patient lady, but really you should probably have it on medium and just keep on doing lots of stirring, but you know, blasting it up, blasting it up. I really fancy making more specific recipe videos for you guys. So if you have any requests of recipes, you would like me to either veganize or make whole food plant-based low calorie density style and put an Amy twist on things, then please let me know down below. And um, I, will, I will try and do that for you because I wanna make recipes that are actually gonna help you out, the things that you used to love and that you don't really want to be eating anymore. So let me know down below and we're gonna get on it. 
it. First, you're going to see lots of lumps forming on the bottom. That's all right. That's just a sign that it's starting to thicken up. So this is when you need to do some real good vigorous stirring. Ah, it's hot. Oh, 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 that's hot. I feel like Dory just keeps stirring, just keeps stirring, just keeps stirring, just keeps stirring. I'll show you the lumpy, lumpy texture that we have at the moment. That is not finished yet. Okay, so I can see that the texture is changing on me as I'm mixing this. The texture is like really starting to come together and starting to be like one big mass and one big blob. But if you can see the difference, you see how it's becoming one with each other. Yeah, look, oh, look at that stretching. They're starting to stretch, people. Keep going. Oh my God, I'll tell you what, this is a workout. I've just come back from an arm session. My arms are knackered already. Yeah, forget arm day, just make mozzarella. Okay, so you see how the texture has gone nice and glossy now. We are glossy, we are stretchy, we are one big massive blob. That is what we are after, yes. We're done. Guys, we did it. Okay, now you can see the texture of this thing has completely transformed. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is exciting. Oh, did you see that stretch? Did you see that stretch? Okay, cheese gets me so excited. Now it's time for a taste test. Oh. Oh my gosh. It's so, so good. It's so good. I mean, it, I, I had to share it with you immediately. It's that good. Like, wow. Wow. Where has this been my entire life? I would have eaten this daily, daily. I wish I still owned a vegan cheese company because this would be top of the menu, baby. Okay, anyway, that's the mozzarella. You can use it like this. You can plop it onto pizza. I'm gonna be plopping it onto some chips. We're gonna have some chips for lunch and I'm just gonna drizzle this all over the top with some fresh stuff um, and it changes the game. Um, but what I am gonna do for you guys as well is I'm going to put some in a little Tupperware and I'm going to see if it hardens up in the fridge. Just out of curiosity, I think this is a fantastic like melted mozzarella style, but if you're wanting more of a firm mozzarella, we're going to test that out now. I mean, do you know what mummy's just made? Some more mozzarella. Would you like some mozzarella? Yeah. Did you love it yesterday? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> Robbie and Abe went crazy for it. They literally finished an entire batch to themselves. That's how good it was. And I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. Not too much because we're gonna want to eat this later. But just a nice little blob. Okay, there we go. Try and smooth it out, give it a little, give it a little jiggle. Okay, and we're just gonna pop this in the fridge uh, for a few hours to let it cool. And we're gonna see what happens. Um, let's see, let's see if it's any good, huh? Hello. It is many, many hours later and uh, we've been out all day and I come back to check on my cheese. So um, let's, let's have a little, let's have a little look, shall we? I don't think it's firmed up like a proper mozzarella, but if you wanted to go the next step and actually do that, all you have to do is add in some kappa carrageenan, which is going to solidify when it gets nice and cool. Um, however, that's a bit of an extra ingredient. If you don't want to do that, then that's fair enough, but let's just see. If it holds up at all, put it on a plate. But I have made a mozzarella with kappa carrageenan, by the way, and it is amazing. If you're wanting that like proper sliceable thing. Okay, I'm ready to eat. Boom. Oh, it's still so stretchy. You know what? It does hold its shape. It's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. I'm gonna have to have another taste because I haven't eaten it for hours and I really wanna try some. Let's see if it does any slicing it does kind of slice itself a little bit i mean obviously it's still very squidgy but you could definitely put a slice on like some salad on like a what's that tomato salad called i don't really know i've never eaten it <laughs> as a lifelong vegan but you know is it caprese no i'd have no idea anyway you could put it on a salad is my point mm. it's nice when it's chilled mm. wow super good Anyway, it's very late. I'm going to go to bed, but go and make this cheese. You're going to love it. Um, and let me know what you think down below. And uh, yeah, 
I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, and go and check out the bundle if you fancy it. It's super good.